Imagine this. You are at home, after a long day, preparing that simple and healthy dinner. One of the ingredients that your kitchen probably doesn't lack is garlic. After all, it is known to be one of nature's most powerful foods, full of health benefits. But what if I told you that, depending on how you consume garlic, it could be harming your health, especially if you already have a condition such as diabetes, kidney, or liver problems? Yes, that's right. Something that seems so harmless could actually be aggravating your condition without you even realizing it. Have you ever felt that burning sensation in your stomach, or that discomfort after a meal? Or maybe that inexplicable tiredness that insists on appearing? It may be that the way you are consuming garlic is part of the problem. And even worse, many people only notice the damage after a long time. I know it may seem scary, but stay with me until the end of this video because I'm going to show you exactly what you need to know to continue enjoying the benefits of garlic without taking unnecessary risks. Let's talk about the correct ways to consume this common ingredient and how to avoid complications that may arise over the years. And there's more. I'm going to share essential tips that can make all the difference to your long-term health. So before we continue, hit the like button if you love health content. Number seven, avoid eating raw garlic. Consuming raw garlic in large quantities may seem like a natural choice to enjoy all the benefits of this powerful food, but the truth is that this habit can bring more harm than good, especially if you already face health problems such as gastritis, ulcers, reflux, or even metabolic diseases such as diabetes. Garlic is known for its antibacterial, antifungal, and anti-inflammatory properties, but when consumed inappropriately, it can become a real enemy of your digestive health. Raw garlic has an extremely strong flavor and a very aggressive action, especially on the gastrointestinal tract. If you've ever felt that burning sensation in your mouth and stomach after consuming raw garlic, know that this reaction is a clear sign that garlic may be irritating the lining of your stomach. For people with conditions such as gastritis or reflux, this irritation can be even more intense, leading to an increase in symptoms such as pain, nausea, and even vomiting. And it doesn't stop there. Excessive consumption of raw garlic can, over time, unbalance the intestinal flora, resulting in disorders such as diarrhea, gas, and abdominal discomfort. In addition to the impacts on the digestive system, raw garlic, when consumed in excess, can have negative interactions with medications you may be using, especially anticoagulants. This is because garlic has properties that can increase the risk of bleeding, complicating the treatment of conditions such as hypertension or heart disease. Imagine trying to take care of your health and, without realizing it, ending up making your situation even more complicated because of a simple mistake in consuming garlic. Another important issue to consider is blood pressure. Raw garlic can cause a sudden drop in blood pressure, something that can be dangerous, especially for those already dealing with problems related to low blood pressure. If you feel dizzy or weak after eating raw garlic, this could be a sign that the food is negatively affecting your blood pressure. So if you like raw garlic, moderation is key. Instead of consuming large amounts at once, try diluting raw garlic in other preparations, such as pastes or sauces, to soften the impact on the stomach and avoid overload. For example, you can prepare a garlic and olive oil paste by blending the two ingredients in a blender until you obtain a creamy consistency. This paste can be used as a seasoning for meat or vegetables, providing the flavor and benefits of garlic, but in a safer and friendlier way for your digestive system. Another way to enjoy the benefits of garlic without the risks is to integrate it into your day in a less aggressive way. A practical tip is to make a vinaigrette with chopped garlic, olive oil, vinegar, and seasonings of your choice. This mixture can be used as a salad dressing or to season meats and vegetables. Not only does it add incredible flavor to your meals, it also allows you to consume garlic in a way that doesn't cause discomfort or digestive issues. If you prefer a more direct approach and still want to consume raw garlic, a simple and effective recipe is garlic with honey. To prepare, Peel and finely chop two cloves of garlic and mix with two tablespoons of pure honey. Let this mixture sit for a few hours so the flavors mix well. You can consume a teaspoon of this mixture in the morning, on an empty stomach. This combination helps to soften the action of garlic on the stomach while offering all of the immune and anti-inflammatory benefits of garlic without causing the negative side effects associated with excessive consumption of raw garlic. 
This preparation is especially useful for those looking to strengthen their immune system during cold periods or when they feel the first signs of a cold, taking advantage of the properties of garlic and honey in a balanced and safe way. Always remember that balance is essential to maintain good health, and garlic consumption is no exception. This way, you can continue to enjoy everything this food offers without compromising your well-being. If you like to eat well and have difficulty finding suitable recipes that won't worsen your health, I have prepared a cookbook especially for you if you have kidney disease, diabetes, liver disease, high blood pressure, among others. In this book you will find recipes for savory and sweet dishes, which will help you keep your sugar levels under control, and the most incredible thing is that they are prepared with simple ingredients that you already have at home. Start changing your habits now by making small changes to your plate. The link to this book is in the first comment of this video. Click now and get yours for less than $10. Units at this price are limited, so get yours now. Number 6. Consume garlic on an uncontrolled fast. Eating garlic on an empty stomach is a practice that many people adopt in the hope of strengthening immunity and improving general health. However, you need to be very careful with this practice, especially if you already have stomach sensitivity or digestive problems. Garlic, in its raw and potent state, can become extremely irritating to the stomach lining, especially when eaten without any other food to cushion its impact. This can result in abdominal pain, a burning sensation, and in more serious cases, even gastritis. For those who already have conditions such as ulcers, gastritis, or reflux, consuming garlic on an empty stomach can significantly worsen these problems. Garlic's natural acidity, combined with an empty stomach, can trigger an exaggerated response, leading to episodes of intense heartburn, nausea, and, in chronic cases, even gastric bleeding. Furthermore, the habit of eating garlic on an empty stomach can cause continuous discomfort throughout the day, leaving that persistent burning sensation that can affect your ability to eat normally during the rest of the day. Another point that deserves attention is the effect of garlic on blood pressure. Consuming garlic on an empty stomach can cause a sudden reduction in blood pressure, which can be particularly dangerous for those who already suffer from low blood pressure. This can result in symptoms such as dizziness, weakness, and even fainting, which is especially worrying for elderly people who are already more susceptible to falls and other accidents. To avoid these problems, it is important to take a balanced approach when consuming garlic on an empty stomach. Instead of eating a raw garlic clove directly, you can opt for solutions that are less harsh on your stomach. For example, a gentler way to consume garlic on an empty stomach is to prepare a garlic infusion. Simply chop a clove of garlic and soak it in a glass of water overnight. In the morning, drink this water, discarding the garlic pieces. This method allows you to get the benefits of garlic in a milder way, without overloading your stomach at the beginning of the day. Another alternative is to mix raw garlic with honey. Mincing a clove of garlic and mixing it with a tablespoon of pure honey can help reduce the garlic's aggressiveness while also softening the impact on the stomach. This combination, consumed in small amounts in the morning, not only protects your digestive system, but also offers an immune boost. If you prefer an even simpler and less intense option, another effective recipe is to make a green juice with garlic. You can blend a glass of water, half a lemon, a small piece of ginger, a small clove of garlic, and a few mint leaves in a blender. Strain and drink immediately. This juice is refreshing and helps cleanse the body, while the garlic acts more gently without causing the discomfort typical of directly consuming raw garlic on an empty stomach. These strategies allow you to continue enjoying the benefits of garlic in a balanced way and without the risks that inadequate consumption can bring. Always remember that moderation and respecting your body's signals are essential to maintaining good health. Number 5. Cooking garlic at high temperature for a long time. When you think about preparing a delicious meal, it's natural to want to saute the garlic with that drizzle of oil to release its unmistakable flavor and start the preparation. However, cooking garlic at a high temperature for a long time may not be the best way to enjoy the benefits of this ingredient. Garlic contains extremely valuable active compounds, such as allicin, which is responsible for many of the therapeutic properties that garlic offers. Unfortunately, these compounds are highly sensitive to heat and begin to degrade quickly when garlic is exposed to high temperatures for prolonged periods. By cooking garlic over high heat, 
you may be compromising its medicinal properties, drastically reducing its anti-inflammatory, antimicrobial, and immune potential. Additionally, garlic can become bitter and even develop harmful substances when burned, which not only ruins the flavor of the dish, but can also be irritating to the digestive system. The smell of burnt garlic is also something that can leave your kitchen with an unpleasant odor for hours, which could be an indication that its benefits have been compromised. Think about those times when you tried to prepare a sauce or stew and, out of distraction, left the garlic on the heat for longer than necessary. The result is darkened garlic with a bitter flavor, which can dominate the dish and ruin the entire gastronomic experience. This garlic, in addition to losing its nutritional properties, can also be heavy on the stomach, causing discomfort after a meal, especially if consumed at night, when the digestive process tends to be slower. To preserve the properties of garlic and still enjoy its flavor, it is essential to control the time and temperature when cooking. A simple tip is to add the garlic in the final stages of preparation, or use low heat to saute it, just until it starts to release its aroma without letting it brown or burn. This way, you ensure that it maintains a good part of its active compounds, without compromising the flavor or digestibility of the dish. Another technique is to use raw or lightly crushed garlic at the end of cooking, which helps preserve its benefits. If you're making soup, for example, add the crushed garlic in the final minutes of cooking so it can release its compounds without being exposed to heat for too long. This is especially useful in dishes such as soups, sauces, and stews, where the garlic can integrate into the hot liquid without losing its properties. If you want to maintain the mild flavor and benefits of garlic, an interesting option is to make a homemade pesto sauce, which is prepared without the need for cooking. Simply grind raw garlic cloves with fresh basil, pine nuts, or walnuts, Parmesan cheese, and olive oil in a food processor. This sauce can be used on pasta, toast, or as a salad dressing. The raw garlic in pesto is not exposed to heat, which means you will be consuming all of its benefits intact without the risk of losing its medicinal properties. For those who like roasted garlic, a tip is to wrap the whole garlic cloves, unpeeled, in aluminum foil and bake them in a low oven, around 150 degrees C, for around 30 to 40 minutes. When cooked slowly, garlic acquires a sweet and mild flavor, preserving part of its nutrients without burning or completely losing its properties. This roasted garlic can be used as a side dish for meats, vegetables, or simply spread on a slice of bread, adding a special and healthy touch to your meal. By taking care of how you cook garlic, not only will the flavor of your dishes be improved, but you will also be maximizing the health benefits it can offer. Maintaining the integrity of garlic's compounds is essential to ensure that you continue to enjoy its medicinal properties without compromising on flavor. Don't forget that your recipe book is waiting for you in the first comment of this video. Click now and guarantee yours. It's running out. Number 4. Taking Garlic Supplements Without Guidance Garlic is widely recognized for its health benefits, and this has led to the development of numerous garlic supplements available on the market. These supplements promise to offer all the benefits of garlic in a convenient, concentrated way and without the strong taste that often turns people away from regular consumption. However, the ease and access to these supplements can be deceptive. Consuming garlic supplements without proper guidance can be risky, especially for those who are already taking other medications or have specific health conditions. The problem with garlic supplements is that they vary greatly in terms of concentration and composition. Some products may contain extremely high doses of allicin, the active compound in garlic, while others may have different processed forms of garlic that do not offer the same benefits. Without guidance from a healthcare professional, it is easy to end up taking too high or too low a dose, which can result in unwanted side effects or complete ineffectiveness of the supplement. People taking medications for high blood pressure, blood thinners or medications to control diabetes should be even more careful. Garlic can enhance the effects of these medications, leading to problems such as hypotension, very low blood pressure, or an increased risk of bleeding. Furthermore, garlic supplements in high doses can cause gastrointestinal discomfort, such as nausea, abdominal pain, diarrhea, and also interfere with the absorption of other important nutrients. Another aspect to consider is that, despite being derived from a natural food, Garlic supplements are processed and may contain additives or ingredients that are not present in fresh garlic. This may include substances that you would normally avoid in your diet, 
such as preservatives, dyes, or other synthetic compounds. Additionally, the manufacturing process can reduce or eliminate beneficial active compounds, making the supplement not as effective as garlic in its natural form. For those considering adding garlic supplements to their routine, the first step should be to consult a doctor or nutritionist. These professionals can help determine the correct dose and identify any possible interactions with other medications or health conditions you may have. It is important to remember that, although garlic is a natural food, its use in concentrated form can have powerful effects on the body, which need to be managed carefully. If you decide that supplements are the best option for you, opt for high-quality products, preferably those that are certified by regulatory bodies and have a good reputation in the market. Read labels carefully to understand exactly what you are consuming and look for information about the recommended dosage. If you want a more natural approach, an alternative to supplements is to gradually increase your consumption of fresh garlic in your daily diet. Start adding small pieces of raw garlic to your salads, seasoning meats, or mixing into sauces. This way, you will be controlling exactly the amount of garlic you consume and avoiding the risks associated with using concentrated supplements. A simple recipe that incorporates garlic in a healthy and balanced way is the famous garlic sauce. To prepare, you can crush four cloves of garlic, mix them with a cup of natural yogurt, add a little olive oil and season with salt and pepper to taste. This sauce is great to accompany salads, grilled vegetables, or even as a base for sandwiches. Yogurt helps mellow the potency of raw garlic while preserving its benefits, providing a pleasant, balanced flavor. By focusing on natural and safe methods for consuming garlic, you can make the most of its benefits without the risks that can arise when taking supplements without proper guidance. The important thing is to maintain a balance and always consider what is best suited for your health and well-being. Number 3. Pickled Garlic with Lots of Salt or Vinegar Garlic preserves, prepared with salt and vinegar, are a popular way to preserve this ingredient and keep it on hand longer. However, although convenient, these preserves can become a health problem if consumed frequently and in large quantities. Pickled garlic, when made with large amounts of salt or vinegar, can transform a naturally healthy food into something that, in the long term, can pose risks, especially for those who already suffer from high blood pressure, kidney problems, or digestive conditions. Salt is an effective preservative, but in excess, it can be extremely harmful. People with high blood pressure need to be especially careful about consuming foods rich in sodium, such as salty preserves. High salt consumption is associated with an increase in blood pressure, which can lead to complications such as heart disease, stroke, and kidney problems. By consuming pickled garlic with lots of salt on a regular basis, you could be adding a significant amount of sodium to your diet without realizing it, which could seriously harm your long-term health. On the other hand, Vinegar, although less problematic than salt in terms of blood pressure, can also be a challenge for those with digestive problems such as gastritis or reflux. Vinegar is acidic and can irritate the stomach lining, especially if consumed in excess. If you already experience heartburn or discomfort after consuming acidic foods, pickling garlic with vinegar can exacerbate these symptoms, becoming a trigger for episodes of reflux and other gastrointestinal problems. Another point to consider is that pickled garlic is often prepared with additional ingredients, such as preservatives and chemical additives, to extend its shelf life. These additives may include sugar, stabilizers, or other preservatives that you wouldn't normally add when preparing fresh garlic at home. Consuming these extra ingredients regularly may not be ideal, especially if you're trying to follow a cleaner, more natural diet. If you like pickled garlic and want to continue enjoying this option, a healthier alternative is to prepare the pickle at home, where you can control the ingredients and the amount of salt or vinegar used. For example, one way to make a less harsh garlic pickle is to use a mild brine and add fresh herbs, such as rosemary or thyme, for flavor, without the need for large amounts of salt. Another tip is to mix equal parts vinegar and water, which helps to dilute the acidity and make the preserve less irritating to the stomach. A simple and healthier pickled garlic recipe can be made with a solution of half a cup of apple cider vinegar, half a cup of water, a teaspoon of sea salt, and some fresh herbs such as bay leaves and black peppercorns. Boil this mixture quickly and pour over peeled garlic cloves in a sterilized glass jar. Once cooled, store in the refrigerator and consume within two weeks. This allows you to have preserved garlic available, 
with less salt and vinegar, maintaining the flavor and benefits of garlic without the risks associated with consuming poorly balanced industrial or homemade preserves. When preparing your own pickled garlic, you can also try other preservation methods that don't involve excessive salt or vinegar, such as pickling garlic in olive oil. However, it is essential to follow food safety guidelines to avoid the risk of contamination, such as botulism. Keeping garlic refrigerated and consuming it within a reasonable time is essential to ensure its safety. By taking these precautions and opting for healthier methods of preserving garlic, you can continue to enjoy the flavor and benefits of this incredible food without compromising your health. Always remember that balance is key, and how you prepare and store your food can have a significant impact on your long-term health. If you're enjoying the tips and recipes, don't forget to hit the like button to support our work. Number two, consume old or poorly stored garlic. Garlic is a staple in many cuisines around the world, but like any other ingredient, it has a shelf life that needs to be respected. Consuming garlic that is old or poorly stored can not only compromise the flavor of your dishes, but also pose risks to your health. As garlic ages, it begins to lose its nutrients and may even develop mold or bacteria that are not visible to the naked eye. This is especially concerning if you already have a compromised immune system or health conditions like diabetes, liver disease, or digestive problems. When garlic gets old, it begins to sprout, and these green sprouts are a sign that the garlic is no longer at its peak freshness. Although sprouted garlic can still be eaten, it has a more bitter flavor and less pleasant texture. More importantly, garlic that is past its prime may have a lower concentration of allicin, the active compound that provides many of garlic's health benefits, including its antibacterial and anti-inflammatory properties. Consuming garlic that is already losing these properties means that you are not taking full advantage of the benefits it can offer. Additionally, garlic that is poorly stored in humid or warm environments can begin to grow mold or bacteria. Mold, in particular, can produce mycotoxins, toxic substances that, when ingested, can cause everything from allergic reactions to more serious problems, such as food poisoning. For those with a weakened immune system, such as the elderly or people with chronic illnesses, the risk is even greater. And the problem is that mold on garlic may often not be visible, especially if it grows internally, in layers that aren't exposed until the garlic is cut or crushed. Storing garlic properly is essential to avoid these problems. Garlic should be kept in a cool, dry, well-ventilated place away from direct sunlight. This helps to extend its useful life and keep its properties intact. Never store garlic in plastic bags or in humid environments, such as the refrigerator, as this can speed up the spoilage process and promote the growth of mold. If you have purchased garlic in large quantities and are worried about not being able to use it in time, an alternative is to peel and freeze the garlic. While this may change the texture slightly, freezing helps preserve the beneficial compounds in garlic for longer. Another useful tip is to always check the condition of the garlic before using it. If it is soft, has dark spots, or has an unpleasant smell, it is best not to take any risks and discard it. Good quality garlic should be firm to the touch, with dry skin and no signs of sprouting or discoloration. When buying garlic, choose whole heads and avoid those that have already been peeled and packaged, which tend to have a shorter shelf life and may have been exposed to inappropriate conditions during transport and storage. If you are looking for ways to preserve garlic so that it lasts longer and maintains its freshness, an interesting technique is to make garlic confit. To do this, peel the garlic cloves and cook them slowly in olive oil over very low heat until they are soft and golden. Garlic confit can be stored in the refrigerator for several weeks and used in a variety of dishes, from pasta to a side dish for meat. In addition to extending the shelf life of garlic, this method also enhances its flavor making it a delicious and healthy addition to your meals. By taking good care of storing garlic and ensuring it is always fresh, you not only preserve its flavor and benefits, but also protect your health against possible risks associated with consuming old or poorly stored garlic. Always remember that the quality of the ingredients you use in the kitchen has a direct impact on your health and well-being, and garlic, despite being simple, deserves special attention. Number one, using excessive garlic in daily recipes. Although garlic is celebrated for its multiple beneficial properties, such as its anti-inflammatory antioxidant power, 
and even as a natural antibacterial agent. Using this ingredient in excess in your daily recipes can lead to problems, especially for those who already suffer from health conditions. Specific conditions such as hypertension, gastrointestinal diseases, or are taking medication regularly. Excessive consumption of garlic, both in its raw and cooked form, can lead to a series of complications that are often overlooked, but which have a real and significant impact on well-being. Garlic, in high doses, can irritate the gastrointestinal tract. This is especially true if you consume raw garlic in large quantities or in multiple meals throughout the day. Even if your stomach is healthy, overconsumption can lead to problems such as gastritis, reflux, and a constant feeling of heartburn. Garlic stimulates the production of acid in the stomach, and if this acid is produced in excess, it can cause discomfort and damage to the gastric mucosa. For those who already suffer from conditions such as ulcers or gastroesophageal reflux, excessive use of garlic can worsen symptoms, making the digestive process even more painful and problematic. In addition to digestive problems, garlic in large quantities can interfere with nutrient absorption. For example, raw garlic can make it difficult to absorb iron and zinc, minerals essential for several bodily functions. This can be particularly concerning for people who already have nutritional deficiencies or who rely on a balanced diet to manage chronic conditions. What's more, excess garlic can also have an anticoagulant effect on the blood, which can be dangerous for people who are already taking medications such as warfarin or aspirin, which thin the blood. This combination may increase the risk of bleeding and other circulatory problems. Another aspect to consider is the impact that excess garlic can have on your social life. Excessive consumption of garlic can result in body odor and halitosis, which are not easily masked. While this may seem like a minor problem, for many people the persistent odor can cause embarrassment and affect daily interactions. This happens because the sulfuric compounds present in garlic are excreted by the body, not only through breathing, but also through the skin, resulting in a strong smell that is difficult to eliminate. Therefore, it is essential to find a balance when incorporating garlic into your diet. Instead of adding garlic in large quantities to every meal, consider using it in moderation as part of a varied and balanced diet. This not only helps you avoid the mentioned side effects, but also allows you to enjoy the flavor and benefits of garlic without putting a strain on your body. Keep in mind that with garlic, more is not necessarily better. Moderate use may be more effective and safer in the long term. If you want to continue enjoying the flavor of garlic in a healthy and balanced way, a good practice is to combine garlic with other seasonings and herbs. This can reduce the amount of garlic needed in a recipe while also enriching the flavor profile of the dish. For example, when preparing a roast chicken, instead of using an excessive amount of garlic, try combining it with lemon, rosemary, thyme, and black pepper. This seasoning combination not only provides a rich, complex flavor, but also allows the garlic to play its role without overpowering the dish or causing discomfort. Another tip is to use garlic indirectly, such as in marinades, where it can infuse flavor without being consumed directly in large quantities. By marinating meat, fish, or vegetables with minced garlic, olive oil, and lemon juice, you extract the flavor and beneficial properties of garlic, but only consume a moderate amount of the ingredient. This technique is especially useful for people who want to continue using garlic in their recipes, but need to limit direct intake to avoid possible adverse effects. Finally, a simple and balanced recipe that uses garlic in a healthy way is garlic soup with potatoes and herbs. To prepare, you will need two cloves of minced garlic, three medium potatoes peeled and cut into cubes, a small chopped onion, two tablespoons of olive oil, a liter of chicken or vegetable broth, and a handful of herbs fresh, such as parsley and chives. Saute the garlic and onion in olive oil until soft, add the potatoes and broth, and cook until the potatoes are tender. Blend the soup in a blender until creamy and add the fresh herbs. This dish is comforting and flavorful, allowing you to enjoy the benefits of garlic in a gentle and safe way. By following these practices, you can incorporate garlic into your diet in a way that maximizes the benefits without running the risk of overdoing it. Moderation is key, and using garlic consciously ensures that it continues to be an ally for your health, not a potential problem. And before you go, I'm leaving a video on your screen that talks about a surprising ingredient that can transform your health in ways you can't even imagine. 
If you found the garlic tips useful, then you need to watch this video. Click now and watch. See you there.